the sins of this world. Chapter 129 and 136. <coughs> Number 11. The one who baptizes in the Spirit. The one who baptizes in the Spirit. Chapter 133. And number 12. Messiah. Chapter 141. Chapter 426. And number 13. The King of Israel. The King of Israel. Chapter 149. Now, now 14. The Son of Man. The capital letter, okay? Capital letter S and capital letter M. So, the son of, what do you mean by Son of Man? Okay. Okay, the who came from the heaven? Where in the Bible? 313. 313. Okay, now here. Now, first chapter 1, 51. And chapter 3, 13. Chapter 6, 27. 62. Chapter 8, 28. Chapter 9, 35. Chapter 12, 34. Chapter 13, 31. That's many. How many you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. Now, fifteen. The temple of Jerusalem. The temple of Jerusalem. That's the name of Jesus. Chapter two, twenty-one. And sixteen. The only begotten son. The only begotten son. Chapter 3, 16, 18. And 17. The son of God. Son is capital letter S. The son of God. Chapter 1, 34. 36. Chapter 3, 17. Chapter 5, 25. Chapter 6, 40. Chapter 10, 36. Chapter 11, 4, and 27. Chapter 20, 31. Now, 18. The Savior. The Savior. Chapter 3, 17. And 19. The one who comes, descends from heaven. The one who descends from heaven. Chapter 3, 31. And number 20. The one who exists in all things. The one who dwells in all things. Chapter 3, 31 and 21. The one God sent, 
the one God sent. It sent to, it's a past tense, okay? And chapter 3, 34, chapter 6, 29. And 22, the one who holds everything in his hand. In his hand. 335. Okay, continue. 23, 23, the one who gives uh, eternal life, the one who gives eternal life, chapter 3, 36, and 24, the one who gives living water, the living water. Chapter 4, verse 10. And 25. Prophet. Prophet. Chapter 4, 19. And verse 44. Chapter 4, 19. Chapter 4, 44. And 26. The Savior of the world. The Savior of the world. Chapter 4, 42. Chapter 12, 47. And 27. <coughs> the authority of judgment. The authority of judgment. Chapter 5, 27. Chapter 12, 48. Now, 28. The real bread. The real bread. Chapter 6, 32. And 29, the bread of God, the bread of God, chapter 6, 33, <coughs> and number 30, the bread of life, the bread of life, chapter 6, 35, 48. Now, how many you got? 30. Eh? Now we are in half. Still 30 more to go. 31. <coughs> the bread from heaven. The bread from heaven. Chapter 6, 41, 50, 58, and 32. The living bread from heaven. The living bread from heaven. Chapter 6, 51. 33, the real food and the real drink, the real food and <coughs> the real drink, chapter 6, 55, now 34, the light of this world, the light of this world, Chapter 8, 12. Chapter 9, 5. And 35. <clears throat> the one who born above 
of all, A, B, O, V, E. The one who born of all. Okay, not down here. Who was born of all in heaven. Okay? He actually born in this world, but actually he was born <coughs> in this heaven. Chapter 8, 23. And 36. The one who, who does not belong to this world. The one who does not belong to this world. It's a long name. 823, 17, 14, and 37. The one who makes you, okay, the one who sets you free, the one who sets you free. 8, chapter 8, 32, and 38, the one who is sent by Father, the one who is sent by Father, 8, 42, and 39, the one who existed before Abraham, 8.58. And number 40, the gate, no, no, don't say that. 58 is written in Korean language, that's why I'm translating it in English, that's why, okay. The ship gate, the ship gate, chapter 10, 7, 41, 41. Yes. 41 is the, uh, the gate of salvation. The gate of salvation. Chapter 10, verse 9. And 42. The gate of the light. The gate of the light. Chapter 10, verse 10. 43, the good shepherd, the good shepherd, chapter 10, 11, 14, 11 and 14, and 44, the one who is equal with father. Chapter 10, 30, and 45, the one who resurrected, 11, 25, and 46, the one who raised the dead, 11, 44, and 47, Christ. Christ, 11.27.20.31, Christ, and 48, the King of Israel, 12.13, and 49, a kernel of wit, kernel of with which died. The a uh, kernel, K E R N A L, kernel, okay? A kernel of wit, W H E A T, which died. Chapter 12, verse 24. And 50. Teacher, <coughs> teacher. Chapter 13, 13. And 51. The Lord, the Lord. 
chapter 13, 13, chapter 20, 28, chapter 21, 15 through 17, and 52. The way, the way, W is a capital letter, and chapter 14, 6, and 53. The real vine, V-I-N-E, real vine, you know vine, great vine, okay, and chapter 15, verse 1, his father is farmer, his father is farmer. Godfather, okay, is father, his father. Who is we? Jesus' father is farmer. Chapter 15, verse 1. Jesus' father is farmer. His father is farmer. Chapter 15. Jesus said that I am the vine and my father is his <laughs> farmer. Hmm? 15, verse 1. And 55. The great vine. 15, verse 5. And 56. The friends of his disciples. The friends of his disciples. 15, 15, and 57, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, chapter 17, verse 3, the A, Jesus Nazareth, Jesus from Nazareth, you see here, everyone has a name and the city name, okay? See, like, like what? And country name, Cyrene, Simeon from Simeon, like that, Cyrene, like that. There's a Jesus from Nazareth, that's a whole set of names. Chapter 18, verse 5, and 59, the King of Jews, the King of Jews, chapter 1837, 1902, 1919, finally 60. God, chapter 20, verse 28. Now you write down the question. Why? Why Jesus, why John ex expressed many various names of Jesus? Why there are many names of Jesus? Although he is he is the only God, okay? But it seems to us that there are many gods in many different forms. And also, these names are not like God's name. Many of them are very unholy uh, names. Even we do not want to have those kind of names because of the, the, the lowness, degraded uh, names. Why our God, Jesus, has to uh, names, his names like this. 
why he, John, and even other gospel writers, okay, uh, and designated these kind of, you know, unholy, low, low quality, degraded nature of the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Then that's a good question. You know, for example, in Islam religion, even Buddhism, even Hinduism, they do not teach their founder's name like this. They do call their founder's name like this, then would violate the blasphemy. And why our God, Jesus, allow these kind of names? to us, even asking us to call my name with these kind of calling systems. So we Christians have such privilege calling our God's name in these calling our God's name in various ways. Then question again, why our God has such undesirable names and asking us to call His name? Anyone can answer to me? Communicate with, mm -hmm. to communicate with us, so that it's easy for us yeah, to communicate with him. Okay, now it's good. Okay, the primary answer is this: this is the expression of God's love to to earthly being like you and me. Okay, earthly being unworthy, unworthy being, like a clay, okay? By this kind of name, we can, we can, we can understand at least, okay? Now, uh, God incarnated Himself to our level, Okay, and for our better understanding of him, so he allowed us to use our daily, our daily a uh, object here, that, you know, things that easily found in our lives, and relating these things to Jesus so that we can understand Jesus at our level. So he said, he, he even asked us to use your language, okay, and your daily, you know, life, your daily, so your, your level of we just like we elementary say we speak to kindergarten kindergarten kids, okay? So we have to use kindergarten kids languages to explain who I am. Mm -hmm. eh? So you say, "Hey, children, and eh? look at this rabbit toy. Eh? I am a, I am this rabbit. Otherwise, if I say any theological philosophical languages." Okay, to teach 
our kindergarten student hey imania cup <laughs> they will all sleep okay the spirit of incarnation why he has to do this why he has to give up all his high holiness to express his love okay to you and me so whenever we we recite these names of Jesus say Lord Jesus you don't have to you know teach us such a low you know unholy names like I am the true vine and what else you have here there are many many these names I am your friend how can God can be our friend? It's impossible. But anyway, so when you, whenever you meditate His name, you say, Lord God, you are so great. Your mercy is in there. Your grace is in, the, in your name. Your love is in your name. Your consideration is in your name. Okay? Your mercy is in your name. Forgiving spirit is in your name. So I adore you. I praise you. I give you thanks for this. So Lord Jesus, since I am your servant, I humble before you. Your greatness. You are such a brother mine. You know, brother, my accepting every one of us who are like the clay. We are clay, dirty, filthy, smelly being, but asking us, you call me, vine, true vine, whatever, all these unholy name, even living water, and I am the bread of life. You eat me, you drink me, my blood, all these things. I am the shepherd, it's farmer, okay? Cattle farmer, how could it be? For the sake of expressing his love to us. So now we should be take after Jesus spirit. Okay? We should be take after Jesus, you know, practicing incarnation toward those who are least or less than you. Showing incarnation. The you know you know wherever wherever you know where, wherever I visit to the two other countries. I try to incarnate myself to that country's, you know, culture as much as possible so that we can, you know, I can be part of that culture. But it, it's, not, it's not that easy, but uh, the spirit of incarnation to dialogue with those people who are who are lower or different from you. That's the spirit of Jesus. In view of these names, 60 names, see, we can see that. Okay, write down the one subject type of small subject. Uh, Jesus is a miracle of raising the dead. Write down, there are three Three incidences, three events recorded in the four gospel where Jesus raised the dead. Number one, Jairus' daughter. 
Jairus' daughter. And open bracket. Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 through 19. And same chapter, verses 20 through 25. That's a Matthew. Okay? And continue Mark chapter 5. 22 to 24, 38 to 42, and continue, Luke 8, 41 to 42, and 49 to 56, and close bracket, okay? In view of this, continue writing, this Jairus' daughter's story is, on, is recorded only in Matthew, Mark, Luke, but not the Gospel of John. Number two, a widow's son at nine, nine a widow's son at nine, N-A-I-N, was raised from the dead. An open bracket, Luke chapter 7, verses 11 through 15. This event is only recorded in Luke, not in Matthew, Mark, and John. And number three, Lazarus, Lazarus was raised. An open bracket. John chapter 11, verses 1 through 44. These Nazareth story is only in John Gospel, not the Synoptic Gospel. Okay? So now there are three cases of that man raised by Jesus okay, but recorded in differently. <laughs>